I think there are more and more people just getting interested in it as a, as a topic generally. Um, there are more psychologists, I think, in business and in, in the work environment. And it's just there's, there's far greater inf um, influence and evidence of neuroscience out in the, the public uh, world. Um, and I think also there's that whole kind of, there's just more neuroscience available. Um, there's more studies, there's more uh, universities studying it, there's more research places, so there's, there's just more of it out there, so it's going to impact on business. Uh, I think that's a really great question. Um, the, when we're working in L&D, when we're training people, the tool we're working with is people's brains. Um, so if we want to change behaviours, if we want to change attitudes, if we want to increase people's skill levels, knowledge levels, what we're working with is, is brains. So I think if we understand a little bit about the medium we're operating in, it's got to be, it's got to be the right way to go. I think one of the challenges of neuroscience is it's really, really complex. Um, it's very scientific. There's a lot of long words. Um, it's not always very accessible. Um, neuroscientists don't always write in English. So what I've tried to do in the book is really talk in um, down-to-earth words. I've used a personal tone, so I've talked about, you know, talking to you. Um, we've used stories, um, case studies. One of the really nice things about it was working with some of the other people who contributed, so we had other voices, um, which are other people telling their stories about how they've used neuroscience in a really practical LMD world. So we've talked in the sort of language that people in learning development or education will find understandable.